sometimes when I actually sound smart, I feel like you guys won't let me post it. And that's fine. Um, but let's think about computers. Is Microsoft surpri surprisingly secure? Yeah. Um, when they moved to Windows 10 from Windows 7, or wait, Windows, yeah, right? When they, when they moved to Windows 10, did they change the operating system so much that um, it, like, changed the security situation with the operating system? So they were trying to close probably major holes in security, I'm guessing. Holes that can be opened up again. And they don't want to have to deal with those holes. And they don't want to play whack-a-mole, I'm guessing. So they were actually fixing concrete issues. And that's why they like Windows 10. And Windows 10 is, so Windows 10 is actually better than Windows 7, obviously. That's why they switched. But um, is, is Microsoft a lot better at security than, or a lot better for security than certain things? Like probably, probably Linux. Why? Because it's been tested more. Everyone cares about hacking Windows. They've always cared about hacking Windows. And how much have they cared about hacking Linux? Not as not that much until recently. But um, but is Mac Linux? It's Unix, and they've always cared about hacking Mac because Americans have always cared about hacking Mac. Like are, are the best computer people care about hacking Mac because um, it's the hardest. But um, is Windows getting pretty hard to hack? Yes, especially if you limit your access by logging in as a local user and having extremely random passwords. Not word passwords, just completely random letters and numbers. So, um, I feel like now that I got hacked, you can censor me, or certain people can censor me, which might be okay because I don't realize how much you need to censor me because I'm just like, well, that's like basic computer stuff, but... I don't know, but I also realize that I don't even understand basic computer stuff, and that's why everyone's like, okay, um, John Alexander really doesn't know how to write a web scraper. It's like, well, he knows Vim very, 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 very well. And you know what kind of administrator, administrator I should be? A Windows Server 2016 administrator because um, I know the Active Directory that well. So, like, this whole he needs to be a Linux expert when um, I'm already a Windows expert, and I don't even realize it, um, but I'm not, but I almost am, and what I do know is that I would block PowerShell scripting, and I would log any PowerShell um, on the group policy level, and I would ex have extreme limitations on PowerShell. Um, so um, that's, that's, that's what I would do um, in the group policy. So, um, I don't know what else I would do. I would do a lot. You'd be surprised what you can do once you get deep into the operating system. Uh, Harden Windows 10 has, has, an, has a list that can take you deep into the, the operating system. And then, uh, I, don't, I can't remember what the website's called. And, um, but the thing is, I think Windows 10 is already relatively hard because they removed all the SMB stuff. And... Um, but I don't really know because it really depends on how you have your computer set up on your network. But like sometimes it's just easier to have your computer isolated from other computers. Um, but like I said, there is a reason that people use VPNs. It's VPNs is because it's actually like it, it's good. It's 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 smart. It's like being inside the WPA two. Um, like it's it's like it's being inside encryption, but at some point it has to get decrypted, and so um, that's why I feel like. It is a web browser almost a VPN if you change the encryption? But then, no, it has to be written to use your encryption. But maybe it still is because I, I feel like I don't understand HTTPS. And um, that's the thing. I really don't. Um, but I also don't understand WPA2. And I'm sorry that I'm talking about this stuff, but it's it's like... When you find someone's enabled WEP on your router, it's like, all right, I got you. I know, I know you hacked me. Because like, there's no way in hell you're gonna you're gonna enable WEP. And so I know that, but um, do I know if they're using universal plug and play? No, but I did do a forensic examination on like a major hack, and they were using PowerShell, 
and they were using an ex executable and they were doing like, uh, um, they were um, doing the link list thing where they were doing insertion in a link list. And, um, and they were also using universal plug and play, I think. But um, I didn't, I don't, I don't know about that. Um, but yeah, so um, they probably were. And that's why I think it's a great thing to block at the router. And any, any, like I said, anytime you can block at the router, um, you should. And that's when you realize how important routers are. Um, but I feel like a lot of people overlook routers because they're, they're so concerned with hacking the operating system. Um, but that's why I really should have tried to take care of my security on my router. And I was just, I was like, screw it. I, I, I assume that someone's going to do my own security for me. It's like, okay, do you want me murdered? Murdered? You don't want me murdered. So I assume you're going to do my own security. And then it's like, all right. Oh man, I should have done my own security. And that's the thing about once you, once you get, you, once you, once you catch them, it's like, what have you done? Like, what have you already done? And that's why it's like, all right. Um, what do you do now? Because I did reset my router, but I, I don't trust that. And I, I feel like you have a key logger, but then I'm like, there's no way you can get a key logger if you're logged in as local. Um, but then I'm like, well, you might, but then I'm like, well, you can see me typing anyways, cause you can have cameras in my house. But then I'm like, is it you? Like who, who, but then I, that's, but then I realized, well, who I want, who I want to keep out is people that can't come into my house physically and watch me type in my password. So, um, I don't know. Doing computer security security is hard, and um, but it's not that hard. It's like it's like basic basic security things inside your router settings. 